Oh, I got my mask here. <laughs> I can't see this. I need some glasses, Debbie. <laughs> my name is Mark. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm the father of the bride. And I love her to death. She's, she's my world. She's uh, a daughter that any man would ever want. And I'm lucky to have her. No, we have her. <laughs> <laughs> I also like to thank my brothers, sisters, and their spouses. My nephews are here. I also like to welcome Mike Karen into our part of the family. And uh, you are you're awesome people. <laughs> you really That's are. I just celebrate my birthday with. Exactly. I just cake every year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brandon, you're awesome. Uh, we hug. <laughs> <laughs> we had a moment. <laughs> he had his pants on. <laughs> Matt, you might want to grow a better mustache, but. <laughs> You tried. I can show you, but you had to be a little old enough to grow hair. But, yeah. To Mike and Karen, like you've raised amazing two young men. Very respectful. You should be very proud in what you are. Very proud of you two young men. They're fine young men. They're focused. They're able to do what they need to do in this world, and that becomes of your of your leadership. Um, to Jason, Jess's brother, I appreciate the fact that you've been here. I know it was hard for you to get here in Nova Scotia, but thank you. To Jess's mom, thank you for a beautiful daughter. She's my life. She really is. Now, for the, the girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to take you back in a little bit of history to when I first met you. Nah. Dollar General. <laughs> You were small, just born, and uh, I left the hospital that night after saying goodbye to your mother, saying goodbye to you, you didn't know that at that time, but, and I was kind of in a little of a daze. I didn't really know what happened, uh, just didn't realize it. I come out of the hospital and I got my car and I started driving down number two and went to a red light. And it kind of hit me. I went, what the hell? All of a sudden this smile come on my face and I realized I just had a baby girl. Proud as peacock. <laughs> really, I, I, I couldn't get this smile off my face and I went what's wrong with me and I realized I'm just a proud proud father and I drove all the way home thinking that got home phone nanny said I got a brand new baby girl for my brothers probably about three in the morning woke them up for my sister in Ottawa, woke her up. So they got a brand new baby girl. Her name is Jessie Lee Foster. Went to work the next day and handed out a bunch of cigars and said, I'm a proud dad. So then we kind of got into a journey. You started to crawl, you started to climb and walk and 
you started to climb up my leg. And you climbed up my leg to my shoulders, and that's where you rode. Whenever we went to a Santa Claus parade or outside anywhere, you had to get on my shoulders. And that's where you rode. So then we moved on and you got older and still wanted to get on my shoulders. But anyway, yeah. I'm losing my speech here, but <laughs> uh, there's proud moments in a, in a father's life and there were so many of them right from VP Carswell when you were having your Santa Claus parades when I got out front on the, the first row to try to screw you up when you were doing your your shows and <laughs> but you know that's what I wanted to do and uh, I just love you I really do and and I, I know you're you're happy you're a growing woman now and 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 Brandon's a good man and that comes from Mike and Karen so I'm gonna leave it at that I just love you and hopefully you have a happy and joyful life thank you <laughs>